Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be playing a bit of Forza Motorsport 5 and Formula 1 and the purpose of today's video um, as you can see is a run around Silverstone to see which car is faster now um, 95% sure actually let's make that higher 99% sure that it's going to be a Formula 1 car but with the release of Forza Motorsport 5 I thought uh, why not try it out it's got uh, a lot of tracks and a lot of cars so I thought I'd do Silverstone to begin with uh, there's also Barcelona and Mugello and I think there's a couple more tracks but uh, it's not appeared on my game yet so I thought I'd do the Porsche 911 which is the only other car I have apart from the Shelby Mus Ford Mustang so we're doing a time trial um, around Silverstone two laps and uh, my first lap as you can see isn't that great so I'm just using it as a um, sort of uh, out lap just to get familiar with the track and the car because this is pretty much the first time I've played the game and uh, as you can see here going wide around this corner which is usually flat out um, in a Formula 1 car it's just uh, much more difficult to do I'm having to brake early I'm having to adjust my um, controls and you will see in a bit how much of a difference uh, a car like the Porsche in a game like Forza is compared to uh, Formula 1 where the downforce is amazing I mean I, I'll get to that in a bit but yeah this is my first lap uh, I think this corner usually got around the outside in a Formula 1 car but for some reason we just cut through and on this straight I mean the fastest we probably get is 190 and yeah we're approaching the uh, pit entry here so as we go around you can see I'm coming up to around two minutes um, in a Formula 1 car you probably be halfway through your next lap right now so this is essentially our starting lap uh, so we'll go through the pit straight here This game is quite fun to play as well, I mean, um, I've been playing Forza Horizon 5 for a while now uh, but it doesn't have those races so this is basically uh, Gran Turismo but for Xbox and it is quite fun to play. I've started a new career mode which you'll see pretty soon uh, with my Ford Mustang and it's it's been quite enjoyable to play. I think it's been out for a while but just uh, on the 10th of October we got it on Game Pass so I've been playing that. Uh, I think around here we'd usually get DRS as well in an F1 car but uh, none of that here and I've tried not to use DRS uh, in the Formula 1 version as well so just to make it a little bit more equal oh, 43 seconds in uh, the handling of this car you can just tell it's so heavy it's it's so difficult to to drive I mean I've tried to take off all the assists but even then we're coming up to the old pitch straight here I've gone wide here but in the F1 car it's just again flat out I'm having to brake a bit early whereas I'd be just powering through here and then we're going to come up to the S section uh, which you've got to be very careful otherwise you're just gonna go off um, on a car like this and you can see that I'm having to brake just to slow down the car uh, compared to my previous lap I'm nearly what five seconds faster uh, 130 now I mean again I already know that a Formula 1 car will probably be faster just by, by my first drive around the track but it is quite fun to do uh, just, I haven't played Formula 1 in a while as well so once I booted up the game and did Silverstone I was actually shocked at how fast everything was uh, compared to playing Forza Motorsport 5 so we're coming up to our final corners and we have already passed 2 minutes our previous lap time was a 2 minute 15 so we will uh, be faster than that let's see what we get and we finish with a 2 minute 10 5 with a Porsche uh, 911 at Silverstone so let's move to the F1 gameplay now so we're in uh, McLaren um, I was going to do the slowest car possible but I thought uh, it'd still be the same time anyway so you can automatically see how 
scented the car is. I mean, it's just so smooth and easy to drive. So we're coming up here. I mean, compared to Forza, we had to slow down here. As you can see, it flat out. Just driving it just feels so much nice. The car is the downforce is ridiculous and in terms of doing Silverstone I think this is probably the best I've ever done it I know it's a time trial but everything felt so smooth in terms of the corners the handling yeah with the Porsche I would have had to break much earlier here compared to my previous time trial I think this is the first time I've done it so the default ghost I'm what, nearly 9 seconds faster we're at the old pitch straight here watch me go flat out a little bit of lift off flat out uh, whereas on the Porsche uh, again had to brake early coming into the S sections here a uh, bit off the track but as you can see again just put my foot down and just gliding through the corners would have had DRS here uh, I turned on for a sec but just turned it off uh, what are we reaching nearly 200 I'd probably break much earlier on the Porsche, invalidated lap time, but we'll ignore that. We'll still get the lap time anyway, so coming up to the final few corners. I think this is lap one anyway, so we're going to do one more lap uh, just to see if we can break our uh, lap time that we just set, which is a 1.31. So we're almost, what, 30 seconds faster in a Formula 1 car, which is ridiculous. But it is expected, of course. So let's see how we do in lap 2. We're already nearly 4 tenths faster, 5 tenths faster. We're just getting quicker and quicker. Uh, this is the main straight here. Recently went to Silverstone uh, for the British Grand Prix. And it was a really nice experience. A bit pricey, but I think it was Friday and Saturday. We were just roaming around the circuit. And then on Sunday we were sat at cops I think um, but yeah fun experience if you're a Formula 1 fan would recommend um, going to it I mean it's my first ever Formula 1 race probably won't go back again because the prices are ridiculous I've always wanted to go to a European race so hopefully one day in the future I'll do that uh, I did a mini vlog of Silverstone as well so if you haven't checked that out uh, check it out so nearly 1.4 seconds faster uh, coming up to the final few corners here coming up to the pit straight what pit entry mark and let's see how fast we can go second to last corner nearly two seconds faster and we finish it off with a 129.6 so yeah that's uh, Formula 1 cars around 30 seconds faster roughly um, much more better to drive uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video I might if, if if it's something you can enjoy I might do a Barcelona comparison uh, with a different car and see how that is uh, stay tuned for my next few uh, Forza Motorsport videos as well thanks for watching